Hi there, it's me, Pam Vanny, and I finished this eclectic journal, and it's quite large. I will list it on my Etsy, and we're going to do a flip through. It's about 11, I think, 11 and a half the covers, and this is about seven and a half. So it's quite large. Um, it's two sig signatures. Has this elastic and this little bow. I believe I got this from uh, Dale. Not too shabby chic. Thought that was pretty on there. And it's quite chunky. Has this beautiful vintage bark cloth. It's really, really pretty textured. And then it has this placemat on the inside. So it has, it's framed with a fringe. And it's very fun and eclectic, which I love. As you can see, yeah, it's quite heavy, and it's very full, and it has lots. It's embellished a lot, which is how I roll. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's a total gator mouth. Okay, and then it has some charms. And then I'll show when we get to the middle, or beads and things. Okay, so very eclectic and fun. And then it has the bark cloth uh, pockets. I did a, a little bit of uh, craft with me with this, but then I uh, didn't know how much more you wanted to see of that, so I did uh, finish the rest of it. So I'm just doing the flip through now. Okay, here is the um, kind of a burlap um, um, placemat here with the pockets in the front and the back. And in the pocket, it has this fun little card here, a large flash card with a little flower, daisy, because there's a daisy, some daisies here. And then... Um, a little place that you can journal with some papers. This will be listed in my Etsy, Pam Vanny. If you just look in the description, you will see that link. Did I have this like that? I think. And then here, and then because it was so wide, I I uh, added a lot of I had to add to the edges of the paper, so I added that. You can see this sheer chiffon fabric that I got from Jovi, creating with Jovi. Thank you, Jovi. And then here, uh, this was a card greeting card. And I covered up the, whatever it said, happy birthday or something, and added memories. Added these pretty little butterflies here. Um, here is, I added a little daisy and some, these are like threads. Here's a little tally card. Lots of detail. And then here's the fluffy ruffle. Added this little uh, bee here. Here's a paper uh, sack. Um, and another little flower. Dimensional uh, sticker. There's a little bee. There's a bee there and a sticker right there on the tag. And then here's a little queen bee. And in the sack, we have You Are My Sweet Honey Bee. And then also this uh, tag that's been uh, sprayed. And we have a bee in this little dimensional sticker. Some yellow twine. And there are places to write journal here. 
here. And then this was a little uh, from a calendar, uh, Mary Inglebright calendar page. Thought it was cute. There. We have a book page, children's book page. Yellow lined paper. Uh, scrapbook paper, lightweight scrapbook paper, so we can journal. Here's a paper placemat. Music paper. Just add a little uh, scrapbook paper there. Uh, here I tore this pocket. This colorful paper here. And you can see on this side, um, this flips up here. So you can see the little edge here. And um, I added flowers, paper flowers, and a little button, a little sequin there, and those paper flowers. And then another place to write. I left that little hole there because it's eclectic and um, pretty with the colors here then and see and see how full it is and this flips out added paper for writing beautiful green paper here and then this is a wall yeah wallpaper with some messy stitching and then added this trim and this crochet trim and stitched for that long um, tag. Then here is a book page. Then I added this butterfly here. Then you can open it up. And we have lined paper. So there's a lot of interest, fun things. This is from a garden book that I had sewed on. And this cute little page from a children's book, it says, Go Where Your Heart Takes You. So I added words in different places. See some of the stitching. Also, you could add something right here, this tuck, because I, you know, added on. Here's the stitching. Here, a children's book page, added this torn paper here, added the words, I just want to make nice things. <laughs> Cute little duck there. A little game card. Note to self. In this pocket. And there's a little sequin there. Sequins. Uh, then this, on this map page, there's... Uh, Paper you can write on here, and then a little tuck with a, a note card you could write in. I'm in love with this great green earth. This pretty brought in some of the blues. Did it go this way? Or this way? Matter. And then I just added this little uh, sewn piece here with the flower and the button and the leaf. Just to keep this card in and give it some detail and bring in some of the blue. The map page, which is also a deep pocket. A little rusty card you can write on. A couple pieces of this with the days of the week. I hope you're having a great day. It's a little windy, or windy, rainy here, a little bit. Uh, here I have torn paper. This has been sewn, this little um, finger here that made a tuck. And I had shown how I made these in another vi uh, video. And uh, with a little sample card. I don't have that there. No, here. And 
You can see the torn paper on this side. And then this little pocket, um, a little rusty card sewed that. And then here are with napkins, uh, decorated uh, napkins and little pieces of paper and washi tape. That's, uh, I think I need to sew around this. I do. Added the word fly, washi tape, and then this little card here. Tag. Then I um, did some wonky papers, um, you know, that wrap around the other side um, to this children's book page. And you can even use this as a glue book if you wanted to glue things. Um, you know, you could do that too. Added this little tab, this little butterfly. This is a fabric that's been uh, stamped on. I can't remember where I got it. might have been Marcy with Creators Call Shop. Added this little sticker. This paper behind here. And then here is a vintage fern uh, card. If you wanted to have more journaling, you could add paper to it and write right on the back of that. Children's book page. I added this little specimen number. Here's a memo page you can journal on. Here's a little guest check that I stamped the little cute squirrel and some nuts here. Uh, here is my Invello tuck. Now, I don't know if I invented this or not, but I, just, I cut off the top, so it's a tuck here. And then also you can see the card behind it. The uh, envelope has been coffee dyed. Also, there is a feather. And this is one of those skeleton leaves. And this is a beautiful, probably prima flower. It looks pretty with the background of the nest. And then here's the card that was behind it. That you can see through the window of that envelotuck. You can see our little feather here. We have a feather, we have a fabric ruffle, a couple labels, added happiness, little pieces of paper. Um, this has been sewn around. It was a napkin, washi tape, some washi tapes. And then here's the middle of the first signature. There's two uh, signatures, so... Here is this one, some beads in this pretty metal piece. And then we have some more paper bead, uh, another kind of glass bead, and a mushroom and a made with love heart. And some feather note cards with brave wings she flies added a Butterfly there, butterfly here, one day at a time. And then and this beautiful paper with the little birds and the nest on the other side. Um, this was from a Mary Engelbright calendar, and I added destination. This pretty uh, seam tape, vintage seam tape. Um, then I added some, oh, this little piece of a tree here. This one collage. And then I added... Uh, washi tape another cute little recipe card another card for journaling and we turn that in here the beautiful bird nest page added a belly band so you could tuck something in here I guess I could just put that little tag in there. And this, um, I added, be open to whatever comes next. And then a pretty little uh, sticker there. 
And then we have this here that's been sewn around. And you could add paper to the back or you could add pictures to that. We added paper here, another one of these pretty little stickers and a label. More paper, pretty sticker, it's a little gem in it. And then here I have a ruffle with this fabric, children's book page, and a little story here. Um, this is some of this from the, that you get at the Dollar Tree. And I added that across just to kind of bring in the green grass grows all around. I have a leaf here and a little sticker. And this was the uh, paper that was wonkily uh, sewn, folded for some interest. There's a little leaf. And then this uh, has some different pages stapled together, writing. And we go in this little pocket, and then in here we have one of these little vintage. What is soil from night? Is it nineteen eighty? I think it's or sixty. Can't see it real good right now. Okay, and you can see, you know, everything kind of flowing from the sides here. On this side, I have this tuck. This had been sewn around and a couple tags. Here is uh, the wallpaper. I had done this with a craft uh, craft with me. Here's a little fabric ruffle and then I added some paper, torn paper to the bottom. And then here's a sprayed large tag with some thicker string. Tuck that under the wallpaper there. Okay, and here is like, like a little file cabinet. And I added just a little piece of tape right here just to make it a little shiny. I use silver markers here and a little gold around the, uh, the little label thing here. Some fun little things tucked in. Little seed package. Nothing's in there, but you could, you know, just add something in there. Do I have anything? Here's something. That. Let me just trim that up a minute. Okay, I just added this little piece here. And tuck that in there. And at the top, just one of these tiny little tags. And then we have a map page. You could tuck something more here. Pocket. Guest check. This is a digital with, I think, KB and Friends. Here's a children's book page. I think it's so cute. And then I added a little pocket here. A little tag. A few things. Added this tab, this beautiful Prima flower. XOXO. The cute little cats there. Added a little paper piece there and then here is where the zippered pocket is 
And inside is some paper that you can journal in. Follow your dreams. You could tuck something here. And then this opens up. And we have more of that vintage bar cloth added. Then this uh, I added to the tab there, the butterfly, the um, little dimensional sticker, and a little Mary Englebright. It says Pilgrim. He's hiking. Lifts up. Uh, here is a little, I added a collage, some papers here, added that little butterfly. This was a little Dollar Tree tag that I added paper to. Came off of some Dollar Tree item. And here, a small thing, do small things with great love. Pocket. And piece some things together to make this wider. And then here, this op opens up for writing. And there's a tag here with seam tape, little dimensional sticker. And a little paper here and then some threads or fabric threads. And then this opens up and we just have a little card in here. And the envelope, like a craft paper envelope. And then that shut, you can put it behind here. And then also when you put the tag there, it keeps that shut. Um, and you can see where I added papers. This little envelope, actually you could tuck something here too. And then that opens up. We have a little tag there. And some of this uh, crochet lace holds the um, little envelope uh, flap down. It's pretty paper. Um, added a little tab, a little paper flower with a sequin in the middle. And that opens up. Like so. Okay, and then we have the other side of that paper placement. Here's part of a garden page that I sewed down, which made a tuck. That's a pretty little card for journaling, and this is a uh, Edith Holden, I believe. Jack in the Pulpit. And sewed on, pieced together, as has this. So you've got this sewn onto this, and then this paper doily that's been sprayed or dyed, uh, doubled. This little piece there. And then on this side, we have paper. I don't know if you can see if there's a little skeleton leaf right here. And a little tag here. A little kind of like a little library type card. This and that. So there's two pockets. Added that little heart. A really cute children's book page. Uh, added a little butterfly. Added the word wings and some sequins. And then this notes it says note. There's these really pretty glittery butterflies. And precious jewel, you glow, you shine, reflecting all the good things in the world. Maya Angelou. 
And then this is a large card, and I extended it with this torn paper with the uh, butterfly. Added this crochet flower. And then here's like a little uh, booklet with papers. And then you could tuck something under here. There's a little butterfly. Um, little tag. Game tag. Game card. And this is the end of the first signature. Here I have some sequins scattered and some paper flowers. A little button there in that paper flower. And a um, little tag. I'll sew it around. The little owls. Little owl on the outside of that one. Here's the beginning of the second signature. I have some things pieced here. Uh, we have this bark cloth um, added on here and a yo-yo. Uh, See, I added on. It's been sewn. This is torn. This is a tag. We have some little uh, dimensional stickers there. And there's a dimensional sticker there. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of glittery. That's the belly band. Card for journaling on. And this is a, another place where you can journal. Added la uh, crochet lace, a few little papers here, and you can see the lace on the other side. Added some more uh, little dimensional flowers there. Lots of detail. Here's like a little paper that's been clipped on. And then on the other side, this opens up so you could put something in there. I uh, don't have anything. No, not really. Um, let's see, I could put, I'll put a couple of these in there. Okay, so we have an envelope here. Closes up and then it's also a tuck with different papers. And we have lined paper, another book page, added this little sparkly leaf here. And this was torn from some paper. So you can see the leaves here added be your beautiful self. Um, we I added the you can see the stitching another uh, really pretty little sticker with a little gem in it on burlap added this little torn edge here. The little card, journal card, tucks in here. Then this has been pieced together, sewn with a large index card, torn paper, a butterfly label. Um, and then here we have this band here. So we have a few things tucked in here. And here, a 
this is a paper and then I added this from another paper pad and added these little like tiny tickets and then here is a I added a look almost like a triangle here this thicker um, scrapbook paper and added some stickers and it says live gently upon this earth with a little uh, fiber and a paper flower with a button and crochet trim a little paper pad writing lined and then here we have I stitched thicker uh, cardstock there out of the fabric ruffle and a yo-yo this is that sheer fabric that I got from Jovi that I glued on to the paper that's underneath it and I have another stitched around and uh, collaged napkins and book page on there here I do a little stamping of the squirrel dimensional butterfly and dimensional little snail this is just breathe a little uh, pine cone and inked around this is a wallpaper um, pocket and some paper so stitching um, book page out of this paper here and here and then here I added what seems ordinary is often the extraordinary I don't know if you can see there's some little purple flowers okay and a few little tags. Line paper. This is a little guest check. A little tab there. This is an envelope. And you can see some of these dimensional stickers here. There. And this was a children's book page. That cute little guy. Uh, added this here, a few little things. <laughs> and then this is an envelope. And in, and also a tuck here, papers. And, and here's a guest check and a library card if you wanted to add that somewhere. And this is cute. <clears throat> added torn paper, craft paper, and then I added this cute little flower to her hair. And she has envelopes, so I made these little tiny envelopes. It says Cottontail Hop. I thought it went pretty with all of this. And there's you can take these little things out if you want. Maybe not. <laughs> and I had this little file card here added that little banner and this fabric and that paper and some writing and this fun card and another one of these to bring in some of the green a uh, little pocket and we have this tag this is fabric uh, like collage with papers this is fabric here um, out of the butterfly little paper collaged children's book page pretty and I tried to bring in some of that reddish color here 
added the here and then did a little inking. There's the collaging here, paper napkin, added dreams, uh, have fabric at the top. I uh, did a little stamping, little fab uh, paper piece, and a little label and torn paper. Sewed a little bit there. Let's see, I did a little um, inking. And we have a little place with paper here. And I added, added this piece on with lots of uh, collaging of labels and added heartfelt and added this feather here onto that label. This is the middle of the second signature that opens up. It's also a tuck. Added here, paper, a uh, little guest check. This has different papers. You can write in the middle. Um, and then, let's see here. Okay, here's the middle of the second signature. We have some pretty beads. Here, this a little leaf. And we kind of did this on uh, camera too, Craft With Me. I added the paper and then different fabrics, crochet, added the word trust, a dimensional hope sticker. Then I have uh, collaged, added that pretty pink rose. Thank you, journal. And we have this one. And this tag I made. This pretty little card with the roses. Uh, made a belly band, added the word strength, added craft paper and some of this torn scrapbook paper, added this red bud vintage card. Uh, this is wallpaper of some bricks. I think I got in Happy Mail. And I sewed around it. And then here we have some crochet trim. On this side we have a uh, torn paper for a tuck. And added this scrapbook paper, some washi tape here and here. Uh, we have a um, paper flower with a little button in the middle. And it says, life is a great big canvas, and you should throw all the paint on it you can. Uh, paper tag, note card, a uh, little craft paper with a uh, tag with twine, and then I added different uh, washi tape. A little paper and crochet tab here and this was the uh, paper that I wrapped around which is also a tuck torn paper some of this fabric a paper butterfly with the word joy in the middle added the these papers here and the butterfly. And then here, this is a pocket, washi tape, little sparkly um, dragonfly, little piece of um, crochet trim. Another little pocket here, torn paper. In this pocket, we have some tags. Got some seam tape, a little collage, a little tag, 
I mean, collage on the tag. So there's a pocket there. There's a little teeny pocket here. And I have this Tim Holtz lady that says friend. Torn paper here and here. And then here's also a little tuck with a tag. More torn paper. On this side, we have paper, lined paper. Got a children's book page with a washi tape, little sequin, torn paper. Uh, more paper, lined paper that's been pieced together. Here I have a little pocket with a little flower washi tape. And a couple tags. Tabs. And then here, this is part of the wallpaper. A little, this uh, has some, this has a little light, light purple. So I uh, collaged a bunch of uh, papers together all throughout here, that label. Added happy. This is some washi tape. Um, this is a tuck here. And then also this is a pocket with a, like a thicker paper. The textured feel to it. And then this little tab just peeks out right there. little sticker. Here's some wallpaper and just some places to journal. And then this was pieced together. Sewn guest check, little fabric tab, paper, You turn it over and you can see the fabric there. There's another one of these little tally cards, torn paper, a little washi tape. The other side of that note paper, um, bringing some of the green and the pink in from here. This was from a cookbook page. Um, cakes, which I made into a pocket. Added this pretty paper. So you have this little, with a couple little sequins, happy thoughts, a couple of those, and some southern pound cake. And there's where I added that paper, a little washi tape here. This is from a garden book. And added this to the paper, added the word believe, and you made journal in that. And on this music paper, added that, a cute little tag. Children's book page with a, a butterfly, some um, fabric threads, sunshine toward that paper. Then on this side, I added this. It's like a little um, address book. And this is a pretty sticker. It's so pretty. Brought some of that orange into here. Oh, did I show that? Opens up. Then this folds out. I think that's from an ideals page. You can see where I pieced it together. I tried to piece most of it where, you know, the line, it was going correctly across. Uh, I tore some paper for the edge here, uh, added this little paper tag and a dimensional flowers, and a little honeybee. And then here you can see the pretty butterfly, and then you have some little sequins along the edge. Here's a fold out, added the paper, uh, another beautiful sticker, and I added 
tiny little flower sequins to that. And then here, I tore a doily to frame that. Then I added paper flowers with some little flower sequins in the center. Here is a belly band here. Added torn paper to also make another uh, pocket. We have more paper flowers and we have some sequins. And sequin there. Uh, added on paper here. You can see some of the ruffle. We've got torn paper. And then we also have a pocket tally card or tiny little card. Uh, added this flower and a little sequin there. And then also we have a belly band and this was from a master board uh, that I had made and scanned. And here is the last. So I added some thicker paper. Added this really pretty, I love this fabric. Um, a little wonky ruffle. We have a cool vintage postcard. And we have this little seed pack with just a little card in there. Pretty paper with butterflies. And then here's the last pocket. We have this vintage envelope. It's cool stamps. Bulgaria. And inside we have some different things. And a little booklet that I added washi tape, scraps of paper, a little paper scrap, and added timeless. And this is some papers here. So that is my labor of love on this large, fluffy journal. So uh, what did I do with the little, oh, here it is. So if you're interested, this is in my Etsy, Pam Van E. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. If so, I would love it if you would like, you know, you can always comment or if you haven't subscribed a lot, already i really appreciate it. it helps my channel and it helps get my contact out there so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye